presents wastewater math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to convert MGD flow to GPM. And the problem reads, wastewater has a flow of 0 0.0108 MGD. Convert the flow to be expressed as GPM. So this problem requires two sets of conversions. And to, to determine those conversions, we simply dissect the acronyms. So on the first acronym, MGD stands for million gallons per day. And on the second acronym, GPM, that means gallons per minute. So the first conversion requires converting from increments of millions, which is the million gallons per day, to gallons, which use, requires the use of a conversion factor of one million. The second set of the conversions, which uses the time on the top acronym, acronym where you got days for the D for days and on the bottom uh, acronym we got minutes, the M for minutes. So the second set of conversions requires us con to convert the time from days to minutes. And you may not rem have a quick recall of the number of minutes in a day, but you probably know that there are 60 minutes in an hour and there are 24 hours in a day. So you could multiply both of those conversion factors together and um, you could do it that way. Or we can take those two sets of conversions and shorten them. For the million, which is essentially uh, an exponent of six uh, applied to ten, ten multiplied by itself six times because there's six zeros in a million, you could take a million and you could also enter it as a ten with the exponent mark which is above the six and the six which is the number of zeros in a million. Um, and you can take the time instead of putting in the 60 times the 24 you can shorten that conversion factor by using the number which is the result of those two conversion factors multiplied together. So 60 times 24 is 1440. So you could use the shortened conversion factor uh, in, that, in that instance. And so I'm going to choose to use the shortest of these in my explanation in Microsoft Excel. So let's slide on down and let's just see what this looks like in Excel. So you open up a blank worksheet and you can actually type in, I didn't do it here, but you can actually type in C1, your answer, which is going to be gallons per minute. Um, and you can um, go to A1 and you can format it as a number with one decimal point and then you can um, center this number and uh, have it bold and then you can go to the formula bar and you can type in this formula 
using our information above here. Uh, you can put in the equal sign, the open parentheses, and you just type in the decimal point 0108, and Excel will put the automatically put the zero to the left of the 01 when we enter it. So you don't have to type the zero point, but uh, you can if you wish. Um, so then you have closed parentheses, and you use the multiplication sign. And you have an open parentheses, and you do the 10, and you put the exponent, uh, and the 6, and the closed parentheses, then you put the division key, open parentheses, 1,440, closed parentheses, and then hit return or enter key, and you should get the 7.5. <clears throat> so if we convert the 0.0108 MGD to GPM, we get the answer of 7.5 gallons per minute. And so that's the answer, 7.5. So hopefully um, you found this to be useful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I also urge that you subscribe, uh, uh, urge that you participate and interact, um, ask questions. You can do that through my website or through the uh, LinkedIn group for um, electronic spreadsheets. Uh, in any event, I hope you enjoyed this uh, six, uh, six and a half or seven minute video, and I hope to uh, to uh, hope that you interact with me, and I'll be back soon. Thank you.